I've seen so many wines ruined by someone saying, yeah, I put it under a bunch of clothes in the bottom of a closet in the back room, it's really okay. Temperature, not everyone can have a fatty cellar like this in their house, but if you do, God bless you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you a couple ways that, even if you have a simple college dorm refrigerator, you can kind of work through wine and have a great experience with it and protect your wine and serve it at the right temperature. Whites, with whites there's a range, okay? The better the white, let's say you have a really, really great expensive white burgundy, Merceau or something like that, and you, and you wanna drink it. My recommendation is bring it out of a 55 degree cellar, let it come up to temperature naturally, and drink it in the low 60s, maybe mid 60s. Because what's gonna happen is all the good qualities of, at the warmer it gets, the more aromatic it will become, and all the good qualities will come out of it. You won't be chilling down your palate, you won't be numbing down the flavors, and you'll be able to really enjoy the quality of that wine. We have a great little Sauvignon Blanc here from New Zealand. This wine is really gonna, because it is so crisp, because it is simple and it is well made, this wine is really gonna be better if it's served more in the 48 range, the 48 to 50, I would say, even 38 to 48. You know, 38 to 48 is sort of like the average bottle of wine price. And that's, ironically, that's the average temperature in a cellar. Champagne must be cold. Why, why, would, you, why would you chill down champagne? Because it has bubbles. We have this simple little bubble. This isn't champagne, but it's a sparkling wine from France. Good little wine. Now, it has a lot of, uh, in, in, first of all, it, it's carbonated, it's bubbles. You, you want to get those to slow down. The, the, the more chilled it is, the slower the bubbles will go. The more chilled it is, the less likely it'll blow off the cork when you're trying to open it. And so it is really, really important to chill down champagne. Plus, it is probably one of the most refreshing drinks out there. You have an ice cold bottle of champagne, Wow, you know, it is just so refreshing. In the same way beer can be refreshing, and if you really like beer, you like it ice cold, same with champagne. Get those bubbles knocked down. Get them smooth, get them, get them so not, not so aggressive. Chill it down. Reds, there's a lot of talk about reds today. What are we doing? We're, we're chilling down Pinot Noirs, okay? Why do you do that? Because Pinots don't have a lot of tannin. They're not like Cabernets. They're not really dry and grippy. They're fruit-based, they're acid-based, they're sort of like a white on steroids, if you will. <clears throat> and frankly, they're very, very pretty, and what's great about Pinots is the aromatic quality. So I say, you know, don't serve them at room temperature, which could be 75 degrees, bring them down to 68. You might enjoy it more. It'll make them light, delicate, the aromas will be beautiful and pretty, really fruit-focused. So if you like more dirt, Warm it up. If you like more fruit in your wines, cool it down. That's one of the tips. If someone gives you this killer bottle of wine, you don't know what to do with it. You're not ready to drink it. You don't have an occasion or someone you want to share it with. What to do? Put it in the refrigerator. Put red, white, pink, all everything in a refrigerator. Now, it's not ideal because there's vibration. There's going to be light when you constantly open door open and close the doors, but at least it won't damage it. There is no room, no cellar, no bottom of a closet in your house ever that's gonna be cold enough for the right, right, uh, right temperature, right condition for wine. Now what happens in a refrigerator is it'll slow down the aging process. The colder the cellar, the colder the environment, the slower the process of aging will happen. Now that's, that's okay because if you're gonna, I'd rather see a wine age more slowly in a, le in a less than ideal environment than go badly very quickly in a, bottom of a in a bottom of a closet somewhere. The old thing of serving red wine at room temperature is wrong. Wrong why? Room temperature changes from Alaska to a Arizona, to Phoenix, Arizona. In Phoenix, Arizona, room temperature can be 80 degrees. In Alaska, it can be 47 degrees. You know, so it's really, there is no room temperature standard that's gonna work. Temperature's temperature, serve it at the right temperature. Have a little fun with it though. Don't be afraid to serve wine, red's a little bit cool. I like it that way. It's fun, it's good, fresh, light, zippy.